home of the Afropolitan, at 23 minutes past 8, this is Breakfast with Katleho from 6 till 10 a.m. You've woken up with us and you're spending your morning with us and we always, always appreciate it. Now when it hits this time, we talk things property, which means that Gavin is in studio morning. Good morning, Katleho. You well? Yes, I'm well, sir. Thank you. Fantastic. We continue. Are we wrapping up our... Um, we're wrapping it up, sir. Okay, so we're wrapping up the series that has been on installment of sale. That's correct, The sir. purchase of a property without necessarily applying for credit. That's correct, sir. Okay, but before we do that, let's have a look at the questions really quickly. They've sent them through to katayaho at kaifm.co.za and you can do the same if you do have any property questions. Our first question says, good morning. <clears throat> I was listening to KaiFM this morning and I heard a topic of, uh, on rental in residential properties. Uh, if, and What? And there's a SARS implication. Anyway, kindly advise me about residential property rental. One, how can I pay tax for rental property? What are the benefits of tax in residential property? And what was the last one? Can I claim funds from SARS if I have rented residential property yes any any income whether be salary or profit mm -hmm. it attracts tax okay all right and now the question will be how much tax are you going to be paying so that will depend on your bracket so the person who will help you is a tax practitioner but nonetheless let the listener keep tuning in next from next week we'll do a rental uh, series okay yes Cool. So there you have it. Next week we'll be talking about rental. But I actually just want to ask a quick question. Yes, sir. I mean, we, we've spoken about uh, the vehicles through which you buy your property, it being important. So yes. if you bought it in your name or you bought it through a business, um, sort of a, a registered business entity yes. of sorts, yes. obviously the tax implications are different, right? Will be different, yes, but still there will be tax. Okay. Nonetheless, there will still be tax. You're always going to be paying the tax. You will always pay tax. <laughs> so if you ever find somebody who says, I'll make you live a tax free life, Run, 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 run. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, there were a couple of emails as well from guys saying, uh, if I've missed a couple of episodes, so from the series point of view. So the podcasts are available. Yes. I'll make them available on kfm.co.za, but mm -hmm. I'll also make them available on my Facebook page, right? Yes, that's correct. Uh, so simply go to the video site. So we've just made it into sort of a video. Yes. Uh, and you can see it there as well. Whatever episode they've, they've missed, they might just go to uh, the Facebook p uh, podcast, yes. Cool. So let's wrap up installment of sale. Buying property without having any credit application. Yes, yes. Yeah. A lot has been spoken, but let's just summarize it to the best of our ability. Installment of sale. It's for residential properties. What is a residential property? Land, mm -hmm. vacant land, townhouse, and flat. Okay. And then also, it applies anywhere in South Africa. Okay. Properties location in townships, even Cosine Hest. In fact, Katlefo, if you really want to own a house, Cosine Hest, check all the properties that have been on the market for the last two or three years. Yeah. As long as you can afford the installment, my friend, approach that guy and say, I see your property has been there 50 million for the last three years. Give it to me, but I'll give it to you. Oh, 50 sale. million, yeah, I can do that. I mean, come on. I'll do the so right he'll thing. be excited. Remember, he wants to sell. Yeah. And the property has been stuck. <laughs> Especially if it's been on the market for over like three years. That's oh, yes, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Yes. Things that we need to remember when it comes to installment of sale. Yes. It has to be, uh, the payment has to be over 12 months period, mm -hmm. and it has to be more than two installments. Okay. Yes. And then also, we've also advised the, the, the seller and the potential buyer that when you enter such contracts, be comfortable with the terms, be comfortable with the installment. One thing else that you did mention throughout the series was that irrespective of the informality or, or informal nature of this agreement, right? Yes. Or yeah, unorthodox nature of this agreement, mm -hmm. it still needs to be documented. It has to be so documented. So there needs to be a contract in place. You have to have a Lawyers contract Lawyers need to get involved. That's correct, sir. Okay, and there, are, there is actually sort of, uh, there are guidelines. Like you said, there's a certain number of times or number of installments that you can pay. Yes. Uh, you have to have paid a deposit and so things like That's that. That's correct. Okay. Cool. Yes, you have to be at least... A South African or have FICA documents if you are a foreigner, have a passport. And also, we also explain that if you are a buyer and you default more than three times in a year, mm -hmm. you're going to lose that property. Okay. And then the owner is going to win everything. Unless, of course, you become smart. You start selling if you see that you're going to have problems. Okay. And you can actually sell it before you, you're complete with that. Definitely. Uh, before it, it allows you. Yeah. If you bought it for two hundred and now it has appreciated to three hundred thousand, but you're battling with installment, just sell the thing, make profit of hundred thousand. Settle your outstanding with definitely uh, the seller. Definitely. Okay, I've, I've definitely enjoyed this series. I thought it was. I mean, I was excited at the prospect of being able to buy property without necessarily having the money to do so, 
or the credit facilities to do so. I know a lot of South Africans are struggling uh, when it comes to being blacklisted for whatever reason. Yes. I mean, life is life, right? Yes. Uh, and people want a home that they know that they own. So I think it's helped a lot of people, definitely. That's correct, sir. So next week we talk? Rental. For, for I think for the next two months, we have all types of rentals, different types. You're going to break it down first. We're going to break it down. Looking forward to it. 28 minutes past 8, KFM 95.9. That was Million Rent Listening. Good morning.